why you need to convert from an oil to a gas furnace, and how. You probably don't sit around all day pondering the immortal question, what kind of furnace do I have? In fact, many customers we talk to don't even know there are different fuel sources for furnaces. This can lead to a confusion or surprise when you tell them that a different furnace may be a better fit for them. Today, we try to answer the question, why and how do I switch from an oil furnace to a gas one? What's the difference between oil and gas? Natural gas is currently the most popular way to heat a home. If you live in the city, you have a direct gas line into your home. If you have an oil-fueled furnace, you have a separate tank that needs to be filled on a regular basis. Oil is also less plentiful than natural gas, so it costs more for the same heating results. You can't just pull up to the buffets and siphon off their used canola. Oil also produces a lot of dangerous emissions when it's burned to create heat. Oil furnaces are even banned in some countries because of the health risks. So don't go puffing your furnace. If you or a loved one is struggling with an oil furnace addiction, call Advantage at the number below. Benefits of switching to a gas furnace. First off, it saves you money. After you convert from an oil to a natural gas furnace, you'll notice immediate savings. Gas is more efficient and cheaper to purchase. You can save up to $1,000 per year in fuel cost. And that's not including the cost of frequent servicing that oil furnaces typically need because of soot buildup. Less repairs mean fewer headaches and fewer bills. A great second reason is that it helps the planet. Natural gas burns cleaner than oil does. That means fewer emissions that affect your family's health and the environment. Several governments have already banned oil heating to meet emission goals. You can also think of this as future-proofing as natural gas is guaranteed to be around a lot longer than oil. And an extra bonus to switch are state incentives. Depending on where you live, your state may offer cash to switch to gas heating. In the Oregon market, these incentives range from $1,000 to $3,000. Get that money! How do I convert from oil to gas heating? Just reach out to your local HVAC company and let them know you want to switch. A sales professional will come by and make sure that your home is compatible with a gas furnace. They'll also go over other changes you may need, let you know if you have access to the gas main, and give you some financing options. They'll also tell you if their company will remove the old furnace for you. Typically, that costs between $400 and $800 extra. By the end, you'll have a clear idea of how much the conversion will cost you. The next thing you'll need to do is decommission and remove the oil tank. Depending on your location, you may have to contact a hazardous materials removal company. If no one services your location, contact the county or state to see how they request hazardous materials to be disposed of. If you live in Oregon, a company like Bill Goff services the entire state and will decommission your oil heating tank. The last step is to let your HVAC company know that the oil tank has been decommissioned and removed. Then just sit back, sip a cold iced tea, and let them do the heavy lifting as they install your new gas furnace. Now you know if you should convert from an oil to a gas furnace. If you have other questions about HVAC systems, check out our other videos. To learn more about who we are and how we can help you, visit AdvantageHeatingLLC.com and follow us on social media. We're here when you need us.